all right what is going on guys welcome back to the channel i got a very special video for y'all finally got a part in that i've been waiting for like three months for on my ctsv uh it's gonna make a nice little increase uh i picked up from weapon x motorsports i picked up a nice uh ls7 90 millimeter throttle body but this has also been ported by weapon x so it's roughly 95 millimeter i think that's what they quoted me at because i was going to go with lsa uh 87 millimeter stock throttle body but ported and polished however ported and polished it only came out to like 92 millimeters versus this which is ported and polished comes out to 95 millimeters so i think that's the, the fab shop that i went with uh quoted me at like five millimeters difference uh, on the port five millimeters on their port jobs so the 87 plus the five that would put us put you at 92 millimeters versus ls7 corvette throttle body with uh five millimeters ported put you at 95 so 95 versus 92 yeah that's why i went with that the reason i went with port and polish is the throttle response the throttle responses in these cars are pretty horrible in stock form it's the pedal is real sensitive it's very off and on and it's like a real there's a lot of dead spot and a lot of slop and play in the throttle response so that's the big reason i went with the porter and polished not too worried about power i'm just trying to get the most out of throttle response so i guess the first thing we'll do to get into it is what you'll need is you'll need a phillips head screwdriver in my case a 10 millimeter socket with extension and then a flathead so let's get into it all right first thing once we get under the hood first thing we want to do is uh disconnect your battery because we will be disconnecting uh two electrical connectors so keep that in mind you don't want to short circuit your system so disconnect your battery next we'll pop this up which there's a uh a grommet right here there we go and then slide out there we go now i gotta find somewhere to set this set that out the way all right now that, once we remove that it gives us access to our throttle body and our connectors which we got this one connector for our throttle body as well uh, as well as the math connector right here and then we also got this uh i'm guessing that's a pc uh pcv or recirculation valve or hose that feeds back into our intake now my car is a little different because it has an aerate intake which this process is relatively the same whether you have the stock air box or uh, some aftermarket air box so the steps are the same we got one hose clamp there and one hose clamp there I'm gonna go ahead and loosen those up as well as I'm gonna go ahead and pull off this air aid uh, cover so let's knock that out we'll take these off and loosen the two hose clamps up all right now that I have my lid off or air box lid off I also disconnected my math connector all it is simply push that tab in and pull lightly and I also disconnected the throttle body connection, which is right here. It is kind of tight. As you can see, it's all uh, taped together. So it is really kind of tight. But same thing, press down on this top tab right here and pull out. And then I disconnected this PCV hose, which is simply to this gray part right here. You push down on, oh, push down on that. And there's also a gray section on the bottom. So you squeeze them together just like so and simply pull away. And there we go. You just kind of set everything out of the way. I also went ahead and loosened my two hose clamps. So now comes the fun part of trying to kind of wiggle this out of here. So let me do that now. All right, now that I got my intake tube out, all I kind of did was simply pull away from the throttle body a little bit and kind of wiggle it and it comes right on out. No big deal. But now that I got the intake tube out, we can now uh, also took off this collar right here for my intake tube. And I already transferred it over to the new throttle body. Now there's going to be four 10 millimeter bolts located right here, right there, right there, and right there. So we'll begin to remove those and yeah, let me knock those out real quick. All right, now I have the LS7 throttle body on. Uh, there is your tolerance. I don't know if you can see it. Between the actual throttle body. supercharger pulley dude it is tight it's that small uh, gap I don't know if you can see it. there is it's super close but yeah probably wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of sand that down a little bit there you can kind of see it better from there see that gap so it, it, it will fit it's tight but it will fit 
probably wouldn't be a bad idea to kind of sand that part of the thermal body down a little bit. And also with this connector, you got to cut the tape that holds it like that, holds the actual connector to the uh, wire a lot better. Uh, cut that. I also cut a little bit right here in this Y where it was to give it a little bit more flexibility. Also cut it a little bit right there to give it more flexibility. And yeah, so that we can pull it over because this throttle, uh, this connection is now a lot farther over compared to the stock throttle body, which is somewhere right in here. And you can see there's quite a bit of difference. Now you gotta be careful not to let your uh, connector or your connector wire wiring harness uh, hit the supercharger poorly. So what I'm gonna probably do, or idler pulling. So what I'm probably gonna do is zip tie this out of the way, maybe zip tie it to that hose, the where it holds it a little bit, but yeah. So the next part is to put the intake tube back on, so let's get to it. All right, as you can see, I got my intake tube back in. Uh, these two connectors fit the exact same. The only connector that we had to modify was that one connector for the actual throttle body and stretch it over. I'll remember to zip tie that out so it does not hit the supercharger belt. That's oh, it's super tight. But it's there's a gap. Uh, another thing is my worm clamp for my intake tube uh, was on this side, but all I did was flip it over this side because as you can see, there's a pretty tight gap right there as well. But yeah, uh, I pulled that coupler off the throttle body and put it on the actual intake tube, and then put this side of the intake tube in, and then worked this on. Uh, that gave me a little bit of trouble, but nothing too crazy. So that's all in. Everything's tightened down. Connectors reconnected. I reconnect the battery, put my cover back on, and we, oh, I gotta put my uh, airbox lid back on. But yeah, thanks for watching. Please smash that like button if you found any of this information useful or helpful at all. And I'll see you in the next video.